association pay attention to your association there's no such thing as we're born together with no 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 throw away all those sentiments and be very unashamed go back let me give you an honest assignment maybe two of them number one go and write the list of the top five people in your life who are the greatest contributors to your growth your loving jesus and your excelling in life invest in those relationships i have taught it here you cannot generalize relationships and treat everybody the same not everybody thinks you are a big deal there are people today joshua selman to them looks like oh it's just one of those men of god that's all right there are people who joshua selman looks to them like oh it's a, it's a man of god i think he's doing something well there are others oh joshua selman is a relative somewhere there are others who believe that Joshua Selman is a gift from God, sent from God to them. I would be stupid to treat all these groups of people the same way. No, I love everybody, but I will not invest the same level of energy and passion into it. No. See, when you find people who make you a big deal under God, be unashamed to invest your time and energy and your resources. There are people who have shown genuine care, genuine love, genuine concern genuine prayer out of their way there are others who don't care i'm not talking about me i'm saying when you go and look at your emotional space your world today you will find people who sincerely love you who will give anything for you do not throw those people away no there are people who are very casual in your life construct your emotional energy don't just throw your strength to anybody and be disappointed when people sow that seed of honor respectfully speaking there are men and women of god across the globe across this nation who have gone out of their way intentionally to build a relationship with me have been humbled flattered and even broken by their unashamedness to want a relationship and now i have reciprocated with sincerity and love you see that if you don't invest into any relationship don't expect returns don't budge into people's lives and expect that they give you the same place they are giving with everyone it doesn't make sense i think this is a word of caution for many of us before we wrap up there are many of us who just appear in people's lives no antecedents there is no track record of your standing by them helping them committing to their lives and their welfare you can't just appear into people's lives and want to be given a place of honor the same way with those no no it's not done that way there are people today i have not committed into their lives to the degree that they should give me certain levels of honor it would be stupid of me to want that level of honor i have not made that level of spiritual financial emotional investment into that relationship similarly there are others who um you should not just put yourself under pressure to feel that i have to invest this much no what was put in it show me prayers show me sacrifice show me forgiveness show me tolerance these are the indices that makes for when someone is investing into a relationship he does it with joy knowing that this is what has gone into it i'm saying this as a word of caution so that you don't find offense when you call a man and say i know this man i'm calling him and he's not picking he's a ceo today and he's acting strange were you there when he cried when his children died were you there when they were crying in pain and were you there when he had a legal case were you there to pray with him don't appear many people do this even to politicians these people go through pain they go through all kinds of embarrassment and god now shows them mercy and the moment they emerge those who were there that suffered with them we come and push those people away and come and stand and want a position of honor it is unfair so you must obtain grace from god you must find someone's destiny that is worth your commitment don't wait and say who is there who will commit to me it may be a mother a father a brother a sister a spouse a leader a man of god whoever make sure you do something 
let me pray for you we have to wrap up father in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare you have taught us a very deep mystery blessed by association that our relationships and associations have far-reaching implications than most of us know i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice if there is any relationship that through carelessness or lack of discernment you have lost today that is costing you so much i pray and i call upon my god who is also your god may god show you mercy and bring restoration in the name of jesus christ number two i pray for you that all the principles that need to be engaged to maintain quality profitable relationships relationships with your superiors your contemporaries and your subordinates i declare the grace to walk in keeping with these principles may you receive that grace now in jesus name thirdly i pray for you because i sense in my spirit like I, I i said this weeks ago or i think a few months ago that there are people whose seasons are coming to an end in their lives and other seasons are starting let me pray for you the persons the groups the associations that god has mandated himself to be part of your life for your rising for your lifting in the name of jesus you will not miss out with them in this season everything that makes for offense everything that makes for bitterness jealousy unforgiveness i declare that it leaves your life right now the endurance you need the adaptability you need the stamina you need the maturity the sense of forbearance you need to maintain these prophetic relationships so that they can deliver to you that which god has put in them i release that grace upon you in jesus name and hear me those of you who currently have relationships mandated by god and it has is yet to deliver to you the prophetic benefit that that should have come from that relationship i decree and declare beginning from this week begin to reap the benefits that come with that relationship in the name of jesus christ and hear me whoever has forgotten you that should remember you for the sake of the name of the lord in this season i call upon the god of my covenant and i declare that this week will not pass until they call you